We've been up since 6.30 maybe. We slept in a little bit. I know that's not sleeping in for a lot of people, but that's sleeping in for us. Um, and it's Saturday and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, we've already served probably half a dozen tomato customers. And um, as you can see, we are running pretty low. Um, Adam just harvested some peppers and um, some cucumbers. Uh, but I need to go out and see if he's been able to find any more tomatoes. <laughs> we, I mean, he harvested, oh gosh, close to 200 pounds of tomatoes a few days ago. And this is what's left. So that's a blessing. Definitely a blessing. So let me go see what he's up to. I thought you were going to be in the garden. Well, I picked one row and I figured I better get them cleaned up. Yeah. So you found some more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a few. Yeah. This is from one row. Okay. Like, well, half of a row. One side of a row. Be another 200 pounds today. Yeah. That's good. People are coming. Six gallons of juice, probably. So the plan for today was to make tomato juice from our cull tomatoes. Um, we've had some people that have been interested in the culls, um, but uh, if they haven't come to pick them up, we're gonna use them because we don't want them to go bad and um, we wanna be able to get the juice out of them. We, it was what, a week ago maybe? Yeah, last Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday we did, um, we did juice and that's the first time we've ever done tomato juice before. And we got two gallons and Adam single-handedly pretty much drank that in 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we think we'll have some more today. I'll show you what we're going to be using. So what makes them a cull? Just if they have like a bad place on them or they're yeah. like... like this is, there's nothing wrong with this. No spots. Or anything but like this see there's almost nothing wrong with that but it has that on it right so, and then you have these that are just kind of splitting open and <laughs> like that had a rotten spot yeah gotcha. what you guys doing oh my goodness what a production we got going on down here. You don't see mine. Look. I, I put spray paint on it. Oh, spray paint? Yeah, that it's, glow. It's, it's glow in the dark. Nice. It's and mama, look, like like this is there. the back. Okay. Mm. You don't have to turn it over, baby. I don't want you to get it messed up. Yeah, pretty. You're making a purple birdhouse. Yeah. Look at mine. I did some kind of on this. Yeah, for cool yeah. there too. Good job. So we had a friend um, who made the kids some birdhouses and they've been waiting for a day to paint them and Sydney decided today was the day. Correct? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come look at this side, Mama. Okay. I wanted to make them bloom. Oh, too. that's pretty, hun. I love that. Pretty calming. I mean, I'm doing the same thing on this side. Very nice. Yeah, That's you. pretty. Got some good painting I, I got messy. Oh, I see that. I'm glad I made you change your clothes, right? Yeah. So what does mommy always say, though? What do we have to make sure we do when we're done? Clean up. Clean, clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. We got a few green tomatoes down here left. Um, I actually grabbed one of these for breakfast this morning and fried it and put it in a sandwich and it was delicious. But um, we've had a few people requesting green, green tomatoes. I actually think I prefer green tomatoes to ripe tomatoes, actually. I think I've decided that. Tell me in the comments if uh, you like green or ripe tomatoes the best. What do you like? <laughs> it is hard to beat a, a, a fried green tomato in February though. Yes, yeah, true. For March or April. 
Let's see. We might have ripe tomatoes by next year in April. Yeah. Is this the plan? I don't know. Maybe. Do you think we'll ever get tired of tomatoes? <laughs> I don't know. If this is our if this is our lot in life, this <laughs> we are the tomato farmers. I don't think so. I mean, I like meeting people that come here. Yeah, that's been our favorite part so far. If it takes tomatoes to get them here, then I don't think I'll get tired of them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You're juicing all by yourself. Yeah. I'm coming to help. You're coming to help? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll need some more jars too. Okay. Probably going to be. Probably what? There's probably going to be uh, four or five gallons. Okay. But it won't last long. No. <laughs> days. So tell me, tell me about what you're doing. Tell me your process since I didn't get it on film. Okay. Well, I mean, step one is to kind of grade the tomatoes. So take out all the good ones for sale, and then we take the ones with spots or the funky ones or the ones that were pecked by the guineas or you know, whatever, <laughs> and put those aside, and then let them get good and ripe. And then we cut the bad spots out, and then we. Um, wash them again in the sink and then we heat them up for a few minutes to uh, soften them so we get one here they're all gone but you heat them up and then the, the peeling easily comes off and we put them into this persimmon pulp and I'm masher and mis them up the juice will come out take it away still <laughs> have you been helping yeah or are you just starting now Fun job right here. Yeah. Look at the juices. Comes out these holes. Yeah. This looks pretty, pretty scary right here. Gross. Balancing. Oh, yeah. This right here. Yeah. I'll, I'll take them into the house then. You got it? It's pretty easy. I need some more, Daddy. We gotta cook some more. And delicious. Yeah. Easy and delicious. Did um it is delicious. Are you putting salt in no. in there or just no. plain? Okay. Daddy. Yes, buddy. Where is your lighter? In my pocket. In my pocket. Oh, I need it. You need it. Yeah, it's a Yeah, it's good. Just fill up a glass about half full of ice and then top it with that. It's delicious. <laughs> and what very, you, very refreshing. What have you read about it too? It's anti-inflammatory. Yeah, and that was the main thing that yeah. I didn't know. It's very anti-inflammatory. Yeah. It's kind of like a homemade V8 or something. Yeah. yeah. I bet you can't even buy organic tomato juice, can you? Probably. How do you know? Well, well, I, it says organic on the label, yeah. I'm sure. Can you dry out all day? You do. Yeah. You just have to have it. Figure it out. Okay. 